2022 Bassmaster Combine Anglers. This is Chris Tate. Hey, I have a special guest with me today, LSU Shreveport head coach Charles Thompson III. Coach Thompson, thank you for being here and uh, being part of this interview. Hey, well, I, Chris, I, I really appreciate you having me, giving me this opportunity, man. Thanks a lot. Well, I appreciate it, Coach. You know, first, let's start off. I mean, big congratulations to you and LSU Treeport. You got the 2021 number one Bass Master Combine Angler to sign with your school, Levi Thibodeau. So yeah. I've been following Levi for the past year. He's doing some great things. So I, I don't know if you just want to give him a, a shout out, comment, and, and you know, I, I know you're probably expecting a lot from him. Yeah, yeah. You know, Levi's a good guy. On the water, but he's just just as much of a good guy off the water. I mean, the things that he does in his community and things of that sort, that's why um, uh, he made All-American this year and uh, on top of winning the combine. But um, he just, he's just so giving of his time. And I think that was one of the things that, being from Louisiana, that was one of the things that I got to see, you know, uh, of him that other coaches didn't get to see, how giving of his time he was and, and things – and that's the type of the young man that I'm looking for. I mean, he's, you know, you are deep in your community and you're a stick on the water. Like, that's that's just awesome to me. Absolutely, Coach. And like I said, I met his mom, Jenny, down there. And so I just want to, hey, give a shout-out to Levi. I'll be watching you at uh, LSU Tree Fork uh, this upcoming season. So, you know, Coach, we're going to talk about the Combine uh, okay. upcoming up here in September 16th through the 18th. And, you know, a, a lot of anglers want to know who Coach Thompson is. So I was going to give you the opportunity to kind of tell them who you are. Well, um, thank you very much. I'm Charles Thompson. Um, I actually was born and raised in Shreveport, Bossier. Uh, I, I was, uh, did a stint in the military like yourself. I did uh, six or seven years in the military. Uh, and then I got into medicine. I'm in radiology. I'm actually a radiology physician assistant. And uh, I did... Did that for a little while and uh, I got the opportunity to move back home. And when I moved home, it was a situation of uh, that, that, you know, God leaned on me to say I needed to give back. I wanted to be that person who um, that didn't have, you know, the same last name as the person in front of me, but was able to sit on the front rows and, and cheer for them just as loud as their parents. And, 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 you know, I give the kids fishing, the young men, men and women. I have a, a young lady coming next year. Um, I give them fishing and uh, they give me, you know, an army in the community. And also they give me um, the opportunity to get them graduated. So uh, that's that's pretty much me. That's pretty much how, you know, uh, why I do it and who I am. Okay, coach. You know, one of the things about, you know, um, the Bass Combine program is, you know, the kids get an education and, you know, they get to choose what school they're going to. So I didn't know if you could highlight what LSU Shreveport can offer um, a potential angler. Yeah. Um, well, LSU Shreveport is a part of the uh, LSU Louisiana State University program. Um, um, so they, we have our, we are our own entity, but you know, the major decisions do come from Baton Rouge, the main campus. Um, you know, uh, at school wise, we offer marketing business. We're very, very strong marketing and business school. And this is those are two programs that help out bass fishing anglers, uh, potential anglers uh, kind of the most. And that's where most of my uh, guys, uh, you know, have one or two in finance. We have a very good finance program also. Um, that, that's what we're able to, as a school, education-wise, able to um, fit with them, build them to be, one, an angler and fishing, but two, build them education-wise to be profitable uh, so they can do this for a living. Uh, our campus is uh, about three or 4,000, uh, three or 4,000 on campus, so it's just big enough, but just small enough. We do have connected dorms, so which are apartments. Um, uh, we're able to house, you know, those people like Levi and a couple of the other anglers I have coming from across uh, Texas and Arkansas. Um, they're able to come and stay on campus. Um, one of the big things uh, this year, the school has really, really built uh, a big backing behind me 
they're going to build me a five bay boat shed this year. Um, so this is this is a very big thing for us to show that the school supports the fishing team and also that uh, they're they're standing behind us to recruit those top top tier anglers across the country um, and protect their investment in their boats. Um, so that's that's kind of you know the campus um, we have. Uh, uh, financial wise, you know, they, they uh, give academic scholarships and we have donors and things that, that we have uh, to support other type of scholarship programs. And that's something that we'll discuss when we at the combine, but we have a very affordable tuition under 10,000 um, a year. That's for out of state and in state it's uh, uh, under, under 8,000, you know, seven or 8,000. So it's a very affordable, um, education uh, for out-of-state and in-state. Um, and we also have some out-of-state scholarships where um, people come from out-of-state, especially in border states, um, that, that, that's going to be, uh, benefit them a, a lot also. It's, it's very nice, very affordable uh, uh, education. That's awesome, Coach. And I love that LSU Shreveport is behind you and building that, that A5 garage bay that that's amazing so um we were so super let's, excited about that i can't when do you when do they have it done do you know or sometimes well, we're, we were planning to get have it done before school start but as as you know with construction and with the times we are now it's probably going to go into the fall but we are going to get it done this year um mm -hmm. uh and, and definitely before you know the spring starts uh next year so that's awesome so uh you know i want to have you talk a little bit about, you know, your bass fishing program. A lot of the um, anglers ask, well, well, I'm sure I'll ask you and they'll ask me, is like, how many vacancies or how many slots that will Coach Thompson have, do you know? So I was going to have you address that and then talk specifically about how you operate your bass program and anything you want to talk about. Okay. Um, so thank you. Thank you for that. That is a very big question when you come to the combine. And that's, and that's what I want to tell anglers. You know, ask them about the setup. Ask them about, you know, what it, what, what corresponds on a day to day in the bass fishing team, like meetings and and uh, different things like that. How how do you get to fish? How many people fish and things like that? Those are very important because um, we want you to know it because we want you to understand how the program works um, in detail. And you know, we're, we're not going to go long here, but. Uh, at the combine, we can go deeper in detail. One of the things that I do want to stress here is that, you know, um, we have this year, we'll have 18 people. I'm going to next year with this uh, combine, I'll probably have uh, 20 to 25. Um, my cap is going to be around 25. Um, with me only having 18 this year, that's a seven. So I'm looking for seven people going into next year. Um, the way that we function as a team is um, everybody that's on the team going into next year aren't automatically in my top five. And what I mean by my top five is my top five boats is my varsity squad. So once, as, even as a freshman, you, can, you will be able to come on campus and challenge for that top five. I will pair you up. You will, you know, you will pair up at the beginning of the school year. You'll fish with a couple guys. And, uh, and, and young ladies, figure out who your partners are going to be. And we have a three, three tournament session to figure out who the top five are. Um, um, and, and like I said, as a freshman, you're able to challenge that. Now, we do have some travel restrictions for some of the uh, freshmen, but it's not like just local. There's four or six hours, you know, most of the tournaments. So you're still able to fish most of the tournaments um, as a freshman, definitely. Uh, and that's another big thing that a lot of freshmen want to know. Can I fish my first year? Yes, at, at LSUS. And you will be able to travel. Um, uh, once once you we identify who the top five are, there that top five is paid for with uh, truck gas, boat gas, and lodging on all the tournaments and tournament fees. Um, you'll pay for your licenses, but you, uh, you will have all of that other stuff taken care of. Uh, so... It's very, it's very open. It's the probably the the truest litmus test. Um, you know, you're you're set in that top five. 
But those guys behind you in that top five teams, they still can challenge you through the year. And I keep a point system the whole season. So um, just because you don't make the top five in the first um, session, doesn't mean that you're out for the whole year. So you're able to challenge the rest of it. If you don't make the top five, you're still able to fish all the tournaments. Uh, you, it'll just, you'll have an obligation of a lot of the uh, uh, um, financials on your own, but with the help of LSU Shreveport. Okay, coach, that, that's fair. I mean, uh, that sounds like a great way to do it. So, oh yeah, um, you know, so we, let's talk about, hey, we're at the combine, you know, what are, um, you know, anglers, what character traits um, would be your ideal candidate for them to display at the, uh, the combine? Well, I want to. I want a person who's well-rounded. You know, I would like for. I like to see where they have some other type of team type uh, experience. I like multi-sport um, um, anglers because they understand a team concept. Even though this is a um, a boater, uh, I, I don't have non-boaters because I, I have the non-boater or the second guy in the boat is just as important to me as the guy behind the steering wheel. Um, so, the two guys in the boat. Um, you're a team, but you're a part of a larger team. So I want them, I want them to see, show me that they're able to, you know, uh, work well with a team. Uh, uh, I want them to um, have diversity. I would like for them to be able to go shallow, deep grass, but at the same time, like John Cox has already shown you, if you're good at one thing, be the best at one thing. I'd love to see that too. You know, um, you know, everybody wants to, run these graphs and all this other kind of stuff. Well, um, I don't want, I don't look for routinely a guy who's just a deep water fisherman who wants to look down at the grass because that's not going to play a lot of times. And as you see, we're in Louisiana. It's not going to play all the time in, 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 uh, in, in certain lakes. So I want a diversity of some deep guys and some shallow guys. Um, so, um, as a person out, I mean, and, I, and and good family support is a very big thing for me also. Um, you know, I want to be able to keep them, help the parents uh, enforce the rules of their house uh, and also have the parents help enforce the rules of my house, uh, uh, meaning that that's so that's very important to me also. Um, I don't recruit parents, but they do play a role in, in, uh, in who I'm looking for. And it doesn't disqualify him, uh, but at the same time, it, it does help. Absolutely, Coach. So, you know, uh, you know, you talk about that one-on-one -on -one session with the anglers. You know, what would you like to see those anglers do or, you know, how in interact with you or any other coach? Well, I mean, you have to sell yourself, but you can't – we don't want you to be uh, – you know, both of us are have a history in sales – you don't want to be a used car salesman. You want to, you know, try to transfer, transfer the facts, transfer your strengths. Um, and being honest, sometimes we want to know your weaknesses. You know, uh, that helps us pair you up with other guys. Uh, your weakness may be another person's strength. So it's not just a disqualifier. You know, when we come in there and we meet these young guys, they, they want to be the best guy in the combine. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. But there's only one Levi. There's only one chance. There's only one you. So just be you. And, and you'll be surprised where you fit in, in a team uh, and what, because they don't know exactly what, you know, us coaches are looking for. We may not, we may not be looking for, uh, uh, lack of a better phrase, a strong minded, you know, we want somebody who's not necessarily a follower, but somebody who's a little more um, get, gets along more so than just, you know, player, being, yeah. yes, a team, a team player. player. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, and so, sorry about that. I couldn't. No, no, I, I understand there. what you're saying. Yeah. But, but yeah, sometimes we want somebody who's a little, a little, um, you know, not as aggressive per mm -hmm. se, you know, um, because some, you know, sometimes you have one that is very aggressive and you need somebody who's, who can, who can, tolerate that not necessarily tolerate it but go along well with that that's mm -hmm. that's kind of what i was looking for yeah, you know I, I, I totally understand now you were talking about 
parents, you know, the parents come with the package here um, when you, when you, you know, recruit an angler. And I want to talk, you know, what are some of the biggest questions parents ask you when, you know, you're recruiting their son or daughter into the program? Well, one of the biggest ones is finance. <laughs> Absolutely. I, I understand that one. <laughs> um, the second one is, and it goes along with finances also, is, is you know, where, where the boats are housed and how they're going to protect their boat, you know, the investment. The, uh, you know, uh, that's a very big investment. Um, the, the third one, and these are not in particular one, two, three order, but, um, uh, you know, the parents care about the education, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, having that we are LSU, that's a big thing to parents, you know, to get a degree from LSU, uh, ancillary school, of course, I'm not mm -hmm. trying to say that we're watered down, but, um, to get a degree from LSU, uh, an affiliate is a big thing, you know? Um, so, that's that's the other thing and and you know how will it help them at the next level you know what what will we be able to offer the young men and women for the next level um and so that that's what's important to them and i, I think the parents should ask those challenging questions because you know the young the young anglers don't they're not necessarily thinking about that they're thinking about fishing absolutely <laughs> so I don't hide from those questions. I want them to ask me those hard questions. And I'm one of those people um, that I'm not going to make something up on the fly. You know, I'm going to be respectful and hopefully they're respectful to me. If I don't know it, I'm going to say, I don't know. And, and uh, I'm willing to live with that uh, because I think an, I don't know stands a whole lot taller than me saying, Oh yes. And well, I, I think we can get that. But, you know, if I don't know, I don't know. I'll give you the information I know. And, um, but I, I do think that they should ask some of those challenging questions and get all their questions answered, especially if their their young angler is uh, starting to become more and more interested in that school. Mm -hmm. Okay, Coach. So um, one last question here. Um, let's talk about post combine. You know, a lot of if if, if an angler is really interested in, in LSU Shreveport. What should they do after the combine to stay in contact with you or to let you know, hey, I'm interested, et cetera, you know, give that advice post combine. Well, I, I first, before we get too far, I want to make sure I, I, I do this before I, uh, before I get off. Uh -huh. The success of this program is because of the other coaches that you're going to in interview here, uh, you know, Campbellsville, Mr. Pete and Mr. Miracle. Uh, Tony Miracle, uh, Carson Newman's coach, uh, um, um, Hunter Sales, Drury's coach, Rick Emmett. Like these guys have been monumental to me. Uh, we're we're a family, mm -hmm. and they and you know they they give me all this information to help me build my program. And and I think we all kind of think alike. We have the best interests for the young men and women. Uh, so I want to I want to make sure that I, I say that before you know, we, we get too far, but, um, after the combine, uh, and, and, and that I wanted to say that because I'm going to say this, Mr. Pete from Camusville gave me some, gave me some advice. The very first day is, uh, what the very first conversation we had, he said, recruit a young man who wants to come recruit an angler who wants to come to your school. Um, so after the combine, I look for them to want to come to my school. I look for them to want, you know, and I'm, and I'm not saying you have to call me every day and, and different things like that, but show a little interest. You know, we get a lot of emails. So of course I'm not, you know, I, I don't want to bog myself down with emails, but if I'm interested in you, I'm going to plant the seed. And then there's probably a hundred, what is a hundred anglers there at a uh, hundred anglers at the combine. Yes. Mm -hmm. there, well, there are, there, um, I can't keep up with all hundred. So uh, that's what I that's what I want them to do. Make sure that that you keep up with me because uh, now the onus is is pretty much on you. That's awesome, Coach. Well, Coach, I, I want to thank you for your time today, and uh, man, you shared some great insights, amazing interview. Um, and I wish you know 
uh, LSU Shreveport the best success uh, this upcoming year. And again, thank you for your time, Coach. Hey, I really appreciate it. I, I thank you for considering me for this uh, interview. And uh, uh, hey, I like Alabama, even though I'm in Louisiana. Let's not let that separate us. All right. I, I don't. I don't. You know, I'm, I'm not really from Alabama. I just live here. So okay. okay. I, you know. So, but and, and and like I said, you know, you said military. I spent ten years down there in Fort Polk. So. Okay, you know, there so you go. I, I'm kind of a you know Louisiana guy myself. All righty, all right. Well, good deal. I knew I liked you, man. I knew <laughs> I liked you. I just get right. you in a little purple and gold, man. And then there you go. Little... <laughs> Hook me up at the combine. I, I won't be bashful to wear it. <laughs> all right, I got you. I got you, and that's a promise. All right, all right, coach. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. All right, sir. Thank you very much.